Hi and welcome to Tim's Tech Tips and today I'm going to be teaching you how to find the speed of your RAM and the type if you don't know it. Now if you just want to find the type, simply go into Start Menu, right click My Computer, click Properties and it will come up on there as something DDR or DDR2 or DDR3. But if you don't know that or your computer doesn't allow it or you want the speed of the RAM, there are other programs you can use. It's completely free. So the one I'm going to be using, which I find to be good for many tasks, not just this, is uh, CPU-Z. Um, you want to go to the website and download it. It's a very small size. Uh, here we go. So this is what it looks like. You want to hit um, this one here and get the either the zipped or the just the non-zipped download. Um, it's freeware, of course. Okay, I've already installed it, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And this is my one here. And you want to navigate your way to the SPD section. And you can see all the RAM sticks you currently have in. I've got 200 megahertz RAM in all of them. But if we double that, we get the actual uh, stick we want to buy. So I'll be wanting to buy uh, 400 megahertz of DDR2 RAM. And you'll see the DDR2 is up here. It's also on the main page. It'll tell us DDR2 somewhere around here. Maybe not. If you go memory, though, it definitely has it there. Anyway, so DDR, I want DDR2, 400 megahertz. So double this one. Make sure you get the name right. And you also don't. You want to make sure that you you get the right module size. Mine's actually a gigabyte. I don't know why it says that. Um, but that's uh, another way you can do it very easily. Is just by googling your um, your number, your PC model. So in my case. That was that's gonna be Dalot Plex GX two eighty. I'm using custom old PC on XP. Uh, you just want to hit go to the specs, and it'll probably tell you. If you you don't really want to look for review sites, you want to actually get to the main manual site. And if we go here under memory, quite for simply four hundred and five three megahertz DDR two SD RAM. So that's a lot easier. I recommend that, but you can't always get it. It's also quite hard to find sometimes, so you can always open up CPU-Z and get the right stuff. So thanks for watching this tutorial. hope I helped, and I'll see you next time.